Ram. Yeah. All right. So Ram, congratulations on scoring a seven thirty on on the GMAT. You must be really proud. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, yes, it was a dream score uh, reaching seven thirty. And yes, thank you very much again. Okay, so let's talk a bit about your preparation. When did you start preparing for the GMAT, and and then how did you approach this? And I understand this is your first attempt. Um, yeah, it, it is my first attempt. I started preparing by June. Uh, I was I was started. I started with sentence correction through a book. Uh, it was Manat and sentence sentence correction book. Um, the book was good, really, but um, but it didn't it didn't I, um, the takeaway for me from that book was not that great. Uh, I completed that book and I was doing questions in GMAT club and I was finding it very difficult to answer the questions. So my friend um, who was already a member of EGMAT suggested me to go the verbal course in EGMAT. I started my preparation with EGMAT on July. Um, again, I started with sentence correction and uh, one of the key things that helped uh, that changed in my way of approaching the problems is that uh, the way you broke the sentence into different parts and uh, helped me to visualize the sentence. Uh, that really helped. That put things in perspective, like how to see a sentence, how to approach a sentence. And the master comprehension program was really, really, master comprehension um, module was really good. Uh, it helped me to read a sentence, where to pass, and uh, not to go to the option before identifying the, identifying the mistakes in the sentence original sentence uh, initially I was what i was doing is that i was re i will read a question i'll go to the uh, go to the uh, go to the answers go through the go through go through the answers many times um, i spent a lot of time doing that and i eventually come up with the answer which is not correct so that th these things change through sentence correction course in each math mm -hmm. okay uh, then yeah. what about other parts, let's say critical reasoning or reading comprehension? Yeah, critical reasoning, um, yeah, critical reasoning, yes. Uh, I thought I'm good at critical reasoning. And again, so uh, without any preparation, I started doing the questions from GMAT club. And I was really, I was not getting good answers. I was not giving correct answers. My answer percentage was around 30 or 40. Correct answer percentage was 30 or 40. Uh, so I started with the module. Uh, I started a bit late on critical reasoning module, but I was able to complete the module. Um, the most important courses in this module for me was uh, the foundation modules. Mm -hmm. It helped me to understand how argument is, what are the different parts of an argument. And uh, that really set the foundation. The foundation module was really great. And uh, inference module. Inference module helped me to eliminate choices. Like uh, if when, when I was doing this critical reasoning questions without any preparation, I got confused with the options. I don't know which options to eliminate and which option to stay with. And this inference module said the made things clear. Like I was down to two questions, uh, two options, and that that inference module. After doing inference module, I was really like, okay, I got a picture now how to approach critical reasoning questions. Yes, it's, 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 it's a and. Uh, I mean, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, coming to RC, uh, RC questions in EGMAT was way tough. Uh, like it was too tough. And uh, um, what I must say is that you have given a structure and you have made the questions in such a way that only when you follow the structure, you will be able to answer the questions in the stipulated time. Uh, it really helped. Okay. After I was initially very bad. If you are, if you have. If you go through my scholar NM, you can see that my accuracy will be low and RC. But after doing RC from EGMAT, the, the other RCs were really easy. I was like, uh, my speed of motion in the verbal section of EGMAT was RC. I will just read this, and uh, since I have practiced a lot on scholar and using uh, scholar NM for RC questions, uh, mm -hmm. the RC questions which came in GMAT were, appeared really easy. I was able to go through that uh, RC section pretty fast. I was able to do like read paragraphs in two minutes and finish a finish an RC passage in three or four minutes. That really helped me in making time for the other questions. Like critical listening questions need some time and it helped me to allocate sufficient time for the questions as well. 
Okay, that's that's good to hear. Now, um, you you mentioned scholarium a couple of times. So, uh, what role did scholarium play in your overall preparation? Uh, scholarium helped the practice. Like I am a person who believes that uh, practice is very important for me. Uh, I need that flow in answering the questions. Uh, I realized this. I realized this when I was preparing for one module. and i didn't touch verbal part at all for a week and i gave a gave a mock in 800 through 800 the score i really i scored very badly in that module uh, in that particular test uh, so i realized that i need to have this flow i need to be in constant touch and uh, to have this constant touch scholarium will me uh, I, you can you can see if you are if you can see my scholarium i have completed all the questions in scholarium yep, i saw um, that yeah so that really help the practice the number of practice i did in scholarium really helped and the interesting part about scholarium is in critical reasoning questions um the explanation was explanations were really great um for example if you are doing a strengthening question and there is a conclusion and there will be one portion called how to falsify an argument that really helped like instead of going to the options after reading the question if you can think pre think if you can pre think what can be the possible answer to that question you can reduce a lot of time so at that qualification portion of the explanation part was really interesting it helped me really reduce the time and time that i have been spending in critical listening questions okay I, I, you know what were you saying those music to my ears we spent a lot of time perfecting the solutions in scholarium in not just in critical reasoning but also in sentence and reading comprehension and um creating formats where you know you can read and you can there, there's a reason why you have the headings and the solutions and scholar reading so you can focus on various portions independently so so i'm i'm very glad to hear what you what you're saying and that was also um, interesting like for example i i, I was through this practice session and uh, i was not still able to answer some questions what i did is i went to the scholarium and saw an analysis for sentence correction and i was able to see the weak portions of myself like for example i was bad in comparisons mm-hmm. i was bad in parallelisms and uh, i thought i should pay re- visit again to these chapters again to these models and brush up the things i have learned um, mm-hmm. so that helped and i started improving on those questions as well after that okay i am i'm glad to hear that So so uh, let's now shift gears let's talk about uh, your applications right you work in a show uh, you work at a show cleland right now and uh, you applied to a variety yes. of schools yeah right? so um, did you uh, so I'm assuming I, mean, you, I think there were seven schools where you said the applications already done and there are about five other schools that were left if, if i kind of remember your email correctly yeah 13 schools total okay and how many uh, for, are the applications done for how many but so uh, how many schools have you already applied to um i, I have already applied to um, like eight or nine college, eight colleges yeah, at least five left that's what i remember yeah. so uh, i i will tell you which ones you mentioned were left now um, this data may have changed but based on what i have you have ut dallas isb uh, all and smeal wp carry and cranor left so um, i don't know if you applied to any one of them since you've sent this data um i have completed isb and uh, purdue after that the deadline was on 15th and i have completed that yeah okay got it All right. Uh, so, how are you doing your applications? Um, I'm doing my applications through a consultant. Uh, if you can talk about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm. Yeah, yeah. I. I can. I took the help of experts global experts in doing global. my applications. Okay. And okay and uh, okay here is something and, and and so are you doing the complete application packet uh, with experts global or are you doing uh, just some vsas only 
um, SS only, not the complete package from Expert Global, only SS. So you they have not looked at your resume or or the other aspects of your application? No, I they did uh, have a look on my resume. They edited it a bit, but they didn't do my resume. I did my resume and gave gave it to them for editing. Okay, but they did. I mean, are you paying them for your resume? No. Okay. No, Okay, because I mean, I haven't seen any of the other essays, but I've seen your resume, it's in the right format. It has certain pertinent things, but where it comes to the details, I think that's it's too technical. That's something that I would really say. So, okay. uh, so I think uh, okay. I haven't seen the essays, but I'm only basing my judgment based on, on the resume right now. And, um, and I will okay. give you an example if you want me to give you an example. Yeah, it's fine. You can definitely you can. Okay, so uh, let me actually just pause the recording over here.